it is so cold that it just freezes things on contact and I, I could barely breathe. I was coughing, I was legit coughing. Hey you guys, welcome back to my real life vlogs. It's been a little while, but I'm back. It's a really interesting day to be vlogging because we are actually snowed in, you guys. I don't even know if we can, it's a polar vortex. So it's negative 20 something degrees outside, which is colder than Antarctica right now. I don't know why Chicago be doing us like this, but it's a very scary time. Like it's dangerous to be outside and everything. So we stayed in, Anthony went to work because Crime don't stop just because it's a polar vortex. So he's gone, but me and Ann are here until we're just having a little snow day. And you guys, I wanted to share something. So come with me to the kitchen. So it's a snow day, and so, you know, we still gotta eat and stuff, so I wanted to share with you guys my meal plan for the next couple days. <laughs> so I got my Home Chef delivery that came uh, last night, you guys. And so I'm gonna be cooking one of those uh, this evening for dinner and I'm gonna just be kind of sharing with you guys kind of like our snow day uh, plans for the day because just because we can't go outside doesn't mean that we're just gonna lay around all day. We're gonna be productive. So let me show you guys what came in the delivery. So this is my fridge. It's kind of unorganized, but this is kind of the way that we do organize it. We'll, we'll put like the deli meats and breakfast meats and stuff down here and then the cheeses over here. So the meat and dairy section is like really small compared to everything else going on in the fridge. We just kind of prioritize what's important. So these are the meals that I got this time around. You guys, some really delicious stuff. I got the Marsala mushroom, Jameli bake. I got the spicy plantain and black bean tacos. And then we got four this time. So I got the jerk chicken thigh stuffed poblanos. I'm sure Anthony will love that because he loves thighs and then tilapia fish and chips. So we got a little something for everyone, me, Anthony, and my daughter, Anne. So I have to try and figure out which meal I'm gonna be cooking tonight for dinner. But you guys, Home Chef, you guys know I am a huge fan of Home Chef. I am subscribed to the weekly meal kit delivery service. And it's super convenient because all of those meals that you guys just saw in there, they contain everything that I need to execute the meal that I'm gonna be cooking. So there's not gonna be any waste. If I need two cloves of garlic, it's gonna contain two cloves of garlic. If I need two tablespoons of butter, it's gonna have two tablespoons of butter. So it's super convenient in that sense because everything I need is in those individual packs. Also, when you guys sign up on the website, it's super duper easy to set up your dietary profile, basically selecting the foods that you want to have delivered and the foods that you don't. So they're not even gonna show up in your choices. If you say that you don't want any pork, they're not even gonna give you pork options. So you really get to customize the meal selections that you get. And there are a ton of selections, you guys, as you can tell by the four meals that I got this week. And each serving that you get is less than 10 bucks. So it's really affordable and you get a ton of variety so you can't beat it. I love Home Chef, you guys, because it is so convenient for me and I still get to create delicious homemade meals without having to go out and select all the ingredients at the store. So I would highly recommend if you guys wanna try it out, definitely use my code VON30 and click the link below. You're gonna get 30 bucks off your first purchase. I don't know if you guys understand what negative 20 something degrees actually Actually feels like not many human beings living on this earth have experienced it let's just say when I stuck my head out the door just to kind of get a feel for it it was so cold that um, it irritated my lungs and I immediately started coughing so that's just like part of the danger of being outside in this weather right now let me show you guys some other um, consequences of this polar vortex so this is the door handle on my front door it's frosted crazy enough for you. So I'm about to get started on this meal, you guys, for my lovely dish, you guys. Everything is perfectly portioned. I don't have to worry about any sort of waste. It's exactly what I need, so this is gonna be really, really easy. Another thing I wanna do is kind of organize my little oats and grains pantry here. I wanna put some labels on all of this stuff, so I'm gonna do that today, too. These are the labels that I'm gonna be using for that, guys. I got these from Michael's. Not really for me, because I kinda know everything that's in there, but what I found is that if I have people over and they're trying to help me cook or whatever I can't really just send them to that pantry to get something because they're gonna be like well which one is it Anthony doesn't know what that stuff is so it's, it's for him too so you guys that's it for prepping all of my ingredients I got my mushrooms my shallots my garlic I wanted to mention in this video though that one of the main benefits of being a home chef subscriber is how much I learn these instructions are so thorough and everything is explained so well that it actually teaches me how to cook stuff so like when I'm cooking my own meals I apply some of these techniques and tactics to make my own delicious stuff so I just I feel like I learned so much 
And you guys, I will not cook a meal without my trusty dollar store bowls for my vegetable prep, you guys. This makes my life so much easier. What a moo moo here, a moo moo there, here moo there, moo everywhere, moo moo. Annie boo boo had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. So it's done, you guys. Looks pretty darn good. I finished it in the broiler. It's supposed to look like the picture here. So not bad. So that turned out pretty good. I think Anthony and Ann will love it. Do you guys wanna know what I had for lunch today? I actually filmed a video of me making it, so I am going to be posting it very, very soon. It's basically these vegan enchiladas, okay? So I made 12 of them and me and my dad ate most of them. My dad has stopped by this morning to check on us. He went in the basement and checked our pipes and stuff just to let us know if we were at risk at all of our pipes freezing and he basically confirmed that we are not at risk. So we should be okay because we did have the faucets dripping warm water pretty much all morning. He was like, why are y'all doing that? He was like, if your basement is heated and your pipes are heated, you don't need to worry about that. So he went to go check and we're good to go. So yeah, we're just hunkered down, you guys. I can't wait until Anthony gets home because I'm so worried about him being out in this weather. But I talked to him a few minutes ago and he said that he is fine. So I got a package today, DHL Express. Um, it is a wig. You guys, it is my birthday weekend coming up and usually I travel on my birthday um, to celebrate, but this year I am staying local. Last year I went to the Smoky Mountains in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and then the year before that I went to Las Vegas. We are staying local, even though I am going up to the Dells. You guys, my next vlog will be about my birthday weekend because we're definitely going to Wisconsin Dells to a water park long story but I will tell you about it in my next vlog then we're having like dinner on Saturday night and stuff so I went ahead and asked for this wig to be shipped to me most urgently so that I had it in time for my birthday so you guys know I hate my real hair these days so I do not want to be bothered trying to style it for my birthday I do want to look fabulous because I'm turning 36 yes <laughs> I have a partnership with her given hair and I do work with them from time to time on wig videos so I had them send me this wig I'm like perfect I'll just wear it for my birthday I'll of course do a video review for you guys on it so let's see what this wig is looking like so this is the wig packaging you guys yes it is in a freaking box and it is a lace front oh to the yeah so I'm not gonna pull it all out now and do a freaking review on it. I'll do it in my next video for my birthday. But I just wanted to show you guys that I did get a new wig and I'm excited. I hope it looks right. Y'all know I'm like the hit or miss queen when it comes to wigs, especially lace fronts. So let's hope this bad baby looks good. I saw the pictures on the website and it looked pretty nice. So let's see. Do y'all see me in my head to toe Puma apparel? I did not mean to do that. Well, I kind of did. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I've been spending a lot of time in Michaels lately just doing little DIY projects and stuff. Like when I um, finished our master bathroom, I got a lot of stuff from Michaels for that. And I'm just really starting to subscribe to like the whole idea of labeling stuff. I'm just putting olive because I'm going to label my olive oil over there by the stove because sometimes I use avocado oil, truffle oil, whatever, whatever. And it's hard to really tell the difference, so I'm just going to create a label for that. I'm gonna use my smaller little Sharpie paint pen. This one is waterproof. I'm gonna use this one to write some of the smaller labels because um, the chalk marker is just a little too big. I did a little test run right here and wrote olive. I don't love um, the color payoff of the white on here as much as the chalk marker, but I can live with it. Thank you. 
what it's looking like now. I've got everything properly labeled. That way I can send Anthony in here and I don't have to worry about him not fully understanding what is what because the only way you would know is if you put these together. So this is a lot better. So this is my little bread basket and my dad put these shelves in for us you guys and I painted this closet so really exciting. And then this is my little olive oil container here. <laughs> Morning you guys. It's another snow day. So, and school is closed again today. So we are back at home, snow day part two. But it's all good because I do have some stuff I wanna get done today. First things first, I'm gonna be working out this morning. And then unfortunately, I do have to leave and run some quick errands today. So me and Ann will be leaving, but we're gonna be in and out of the car, so it's not too bad. And we did hire the cleaning service today for the house, so that's another reason that I kinda of wanna leave and kinda of let the cleaning happen and then, um, we won't be like in the way and stuff. And it's still really a cold one, you guys. Through the night, it was like 21 degrees below zero. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my workout this morning because I bought some new workout gear from Walmart. No, it was Target. And so I wanted to give this Champion Resistance Band a try. So far, I tried out some of the suggested moves and um, it seems okay. I still have my trusty oh, um, five pound dumbbells but I wanted to upgrade to something a little more challenging so I copped these 20 pound guys. All right let's get started. Back from errands and the house is clean. This is exactly what I wanted. Picked up some stuff from Akira. They had some stuff on sale. So now I'm gonna head upstairs. There's Anne. She's yeah. playing around. Anyway, the bedroom is so clean. The bathroom's so clean. Loving it. Gotta fold up some clothes. But anyway, I want to show you guys a sneak peek at my birthday look sneak peek so anyway those are the shoes I'm wearing and this is a sneak peek at the other part of the look so you guys got to make sure you tune into my next vlog after this one because I'm gonna be sharing my birthday look okay oh I need to take off this sweatshirt I am hot <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a craft project with Ann right now. It's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna be turning this cardboard box that I got from the garbage um, area of Michael's. And I'm gonna transform it into something completely different using my imagination and this bag of goodies from Michael's. So anyway, this is what I got from Michael's, you guys. I'm not gonna share the exact process of everything just because I feel like this is gonna take a while because we're gonna be painting and all that so I'm just gonna show you guys um, some of the process so I'm gonna be creating a zoo like atmosphere with this box so I picked up this fake jungle uh, greenery 
that I'm going to be chopping up and using to create like that zoo environment, that kind of like jungle habitat. I also got this little foam, foam board that I'm going to make a little zoo sign out of. Of course, I got some paint brushes that I'm going to be painting. And I got some, what is this, acrylic paint, multicolored pack. Then, this was the fun part, you guys, since it's gonna be a zoo. I'm using these little picket fence to create kind of like that caged look. I got a glue stick, Elmer's, and some of these cute little sparkle pom-poms. I also got a hot glue gun. I probably have eight of these. I feel like every time I go to the craft store, I buy another glue gun, but I know I have these. I just don't know where I put them. I got some good old construction paper, hot glue gun six. I picked up these little jungle figurines. So I got a lion, an elephant, a giraffe, and a little monkey. So I'm just gonna be using these materials to decorate that box and make it look like um, a miniature little jungle. And it's going to be my fearless helper. You're gonna help me. Anne's not really interested, but I'm gonna get her there. But anyway, you guys, I, so she likes the little figurines. I love doing stuff like this because I am a creative, you guys. When I was little, art was my favorite subject. Like, I love making stuff with my hands, love creating stuff. Um, <coughs> so this is gonna be fun. So me and Anne are just gonna kinda dig in. I'm gonna share with you guys the final, um, the final result. <laughs> if you use tools like this around the little ones you can't have this um, accessible to them so just make sure you're really careful um, I'm gonna put it on top of the dresser so she can't reach it to you <laughs> okay you guys this is the finished product this was once just a simple cardboard box and me and Ann transformed it into a stuffed animal toy storage so this is what it ended up looking like and I painted some tree branches and I made this sign that says Ant Zoo and we put the fake leaves on here with the hot glue gun. And then I put the little sloth in there peeking out from behind the picket fence. And the figurines just got glued on as well. <clears throat> on this side I painted like an ocean view. I don't even know why I did that. I just felt inspired to do it. And the inside I just put some of her big animal stuffed toys, right? And then over here, a lion <laughs> and then the back is just an elephant at the water hole that's it I'll be posting this on Instagram with some more um, deliberate photo footage so you guys will see what major motion picture um, me and Ann are partnering with on this project but Anyway, I gotta go because today's my birthday and I gotta go. So stay tuned for my next vlog and see what I did for my birthday. Bye.
Thank you.